What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Remember I told y'all things were gonna get crazy and I know a lot of y'all was like, do you keep telling you things are gonna get crazy, man? But then you ain't happening yet, man, when you gonna get crazy? <laughs> well, <clears throat> here it is. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the dev notes. I told you guys before that I was anticipating a dev note that was going to basically start to, you know, because I've been talking about this in the patch prediction week after week, like you guys said. But uh, they've been talking about, uh, I was waiting for them to address what their plans was going to be for the year. And I think you guys are going to be excited about some of these changes. So they said, hello, this is Epic 7. We first and foremost would like to thank our heirs for their support. We were especially excited to see our heirs reaction to the World Arena preseason, which opened on December 26th, 2019. The Epic 7 developers are trying our best in order to provide a gaming, uh, better gaming environment for World Arena content by thoroughly reviewing the valuable feedback from our heirs. And this developers know we will inform the areas of planned updates for the first half for the first six months of 2020. <clears throat> so first things first, wor world boss regular season opens. So after two months of preseason, the world boss will officially open during the official opening. Our heirs will be able to choose supporters from guild members and the rewards will also be improved. First of all, we would like to explain to our heirs how they will be able to utilize their guild members heroes as supporters. Just as how a defense team has to be set in order to start arena content, our heirs will be will have to first assign the supporters to set supporters. UI supporters assigned will help other guild members. Uh, basically just saying that we'll finally be able to uh, make our teams or use our guildmates teams. So they're going through the breakdown here and all the stuff here. And then if we fast forward down here, it says due to the fact that the uh, our heirs will be able to select supporters from their fellow guild members. We expect that the points that they receive will be increased. Because of this, we will add new ranks and the criteria for each grade will also be changed accordingly. So you guys can see this. Uh, it goes all the way up to triple S here. You got S plus, S, A plus, A, A, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, there's some other stuff here with rewards and adjustments and stuff like that. Because uh, the, I think the primary complaint before was that... Um, the rewards just weren't lucrative enough, so there wasn't really much incentive. So they said, along with the adjustment to the rank, rewards will also be improved. For every rank, the amount of gold required, or excuse me, acquired, will be improved by roughly 150% from current expected value, along with an increased probability of obtaining equipment conversion gems. Furthermore, common runes and homemade sna snacks will be removed from obtainable rewards, and Brave Crest will be added. Now, the reason why they're removing homemade snacks is because they're getting rid of homemade snacks period but we'll talk about that here in a little bit last but not least heirs who have participated rare regularly and achieved a certain rank will be awarded a special prize uh, according to the points they've accumulated throughout the week so you guys can see this contribution reward 25 million 40 million etc uh, you got equipment conversion gem chest equipment conversion gem selection chest uh you know etc etc also world arena second preseason begins so they said that we would like to again thank our heirs for your interest in the world arena content uh for the second preseason we will keep the current system which does not require any currency to participate in world arena so that our heirs can play world arena without limitations similar to the first preseason as it is an event where our heirs can participate without limitation rewards won't be given for the second preseason however we are preparing other events so that our heirs can receive receive rewards according to their uh level of world arena participation account okay so during the second preseason uh the ranking menu will be activated this menu will display information regarding league ranking total ranking and where heirs can see the standing uh in their designated league and their overall standing in the league overall so i just said overall twice <laughs> so you guys can go through this now in terms of rewards finally they're going to do hero skins so all hero all heirs who finish regular uh, seasonal world arena with a certain ranking will be given a hero skin the hero skin will be given uh or excuse me the hero skin to be given will be announced prior to the end of the season uh, you also get frames uh you know and, and background packs now the big thing here is this guys so for those of you guys who did not play summoners war um world arena skins were kind of a big deal like because they were skins that the only way you were able to get them is if you placed a certain rank and they were super badass so if epic 7 is following suit which 
they are. Um, you can expect that the World Arena skins will probably be exclusive and they'll probably be really dope and based on the rank achieved. So if you guys, I know for my for my non PvP people, like you guys are probably not too excited about this, but for my PvP people, it's all the more reason to do RTA. So now let's get into the crazy stuff. So pet improvements is coming, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be able to really really appreciate this. They said the first change that will be applied will be the repeat battle function. Um, says this is an area where Airs provided us. And with incredibly valuable feedback to begin with homemade snacks will no longer be consumed when using the repeat battle function and the currency will be deleted from the game. Battle type pets will provide re repeat battle functions as a default and the number of repeat battles available will increase proportional to the pets generation. For example, fourth generation pets, so four star pets guys, uh, will provide a maximum of 20 repeat battles. When the selected number of repeat battles are done, our heirs can redo repeat battles by entering battle stages. Additionally, improvements will be made so that if our heirs are adventuring with pets, they will automatically interact with all objects. So pets will finally pick everything up and you'll be able to repeat battle all right so they're doing what they should have done in the first place <laughs> so as a result of consistent updates uh there is and continuously will be an increase in content that requires a high level skill to to participate in such as world arena labyrinth raid hard difficulty okay um due to this we have decided to implement the improvements seen above uh, we hope our heirs can have more fun leveling up more heroes and receive more equipment once these improvements have been implemented so you know i told you guys before like you know I i'm telling you guys i've just been painting this picture for you guys of how this game is going to develop and it's happening little by little by little by little and now they're starting to make sweeping changes like they're getting really aggressive aggressive with the new heroes aggressive with the content aggressive with the changes uh so all in all they're taking a gigantic leap in the right direction so since the repeat battle function may deter early stage heirs who have recently started the game and becoming immersed in the gameplay we plan to increase the uh required account rank required to access pets uh, from the current account rank of 20. However, heirs who have already started using pets and have not reached the required account rank when the improvements are implemented will still be able to use their pets. So furthermore, we will increase our heirs' accessibility to pets, providing a third generation battle type pet via tutorial reward. Um, we also provide those heirs who have already finished the pet tutorials a reward of equivalent value via their in-game mailbox. We will notify our heirs with more details through an update notice. It says, since the success, oh, this is good. So since the success of receiving a higher generation pet via pet synthesis depends on a given probability, there was an issue where many of our heirs expressed the satisfaction in our efforts to receive higher generation pets. In order to address this problem, we will add the option for our heirs to add additional pets to guarantee successful synthesis, right? So now with your pets, you can add more pets so you have a 100% chance to be successful. So I'm happy for this, guys, but after wasting a few hundred dollars trying to get my four-star pet, because let me tell you guys, like, I don't know if it was just my luck or whatever, but I felt a ton of three to four-star synthesis, a ton of them, and it sucks. So, you know, I just put out the pet guide for those of you guys who are trying to get the perfect pet. So whenever they decide to release this, from what I understand, it's supposed to be around February. Um, but this will now guarantee your success rate, which is a really nice quality of life feature. All right. So uh, when preparing to synthesize the two pets in which heirs will select the appearance and skills that they'd like to carry over, they will also be able to select additional pets, which will increase the probability of obtaining a pet of a higher generation. Players can then select a sufficient number of pets so that uh, our heirs will be guaranteed a higher generation pet. With this improvement, we hope that our heirs will be able to more readily synthesize pets without fear of failure. Um, along with the removal of homemade snacks and improvements to pet, pet synthesis, we also plan to add additional features such as the ability uh, for our heirs to listen to the voices of their pets, as well as the notification warning our heirs um, if they attempt to use special pets as an ingredient. I've fed special pets. So so that's also good. So now we're going to get into content and convenience improvements, guys. Uh, like I said, like just the stuff that I mentioned already, uh, big updates coming. Obviously, the pet system overhaul is freaking huge. Um, they said in this section, we'd like to begin with the convenience improvement that will be implemented when purchasing items from the shop. Um, you guys can see this image here. 
It says the first function will be added, which will allow our heirs to purchase, purchase items in bulk. So when our heirs are able to purchase items multiple times in the shop, a function will be added so that they can purchase multiple items at once. However, certain items which can be purchased in batches already will be excluded. Heirs will be able to select the amount of the item they wish to purchase by selecting after either, or excuse me, by selecting either choosing maximum purchasable amount or per purchase up to a maximum of 100. Uh, also, another feature that they're going to be adding is like when the arena is under maintenance, you'll be able to actually do your NPC challenges even the, when the arena is down. Uh, so you'll still be able to do your three sistery diary reputation. Additionally, first improvements measures will be taken uh, to Labyrinth Raid so that our heirs can acquire clear rewards upon the time you first clear each normal difficulty boss from Labyrinth. Our heirs will also get to see expected changes in morale from camping, um, in addition to improvement measures taken so that morale does not drop as a result of camping. Friendship levels, however, can be dropped as a result of camping dialogue as it used to uh, previously. So <clears throat> one of the changes that they were talking about making was that they wanted to show uh, what would happen based on the topic that you would choose so it would be a lot easier to recognize uh, which topics you should actually choose in chat um, thanks to the community for already putting out like you know morale guides and stuff so everybody pretty much knows what they can do but I think this is going to be a lot more user friendly for people uh, that you know are starting the game or just starting to do raid and don't really know which chat options they should use so they said they're also working on comprehensive improvements in held difficulty uh, labyrinth raid um, via second improvement measures. They said we'll, they'll provide further information about the second improvement measures at the time of the update. Um, in addition to the above, they are working on functions that our heirs have expressed interest in, such as one that completes and receives rewards for all three sisters' diary reputations at once. So you get a collect all button for your quest. Uh, during the first quarter of 2020, Japanese voices, voices will be added to all servers uh, so that our heirs can select Japanese voices regardless of server that you play. However, due to the difference in the numbers of heroes between the different servers, there will be characters that will not have a Japanese voice. I mean, it's just a given. Uh, in these cases, the voices that will be heard will be in Korean or English, but of course, those voices will probably be added as they, you know, get voice actors. So there will also be a new skin and a special side story in Sidonia available in February. The month representative of love and renowned for Valentine's Day. It says, uh, we will do our best in order to provide a better gaming environment for our heirs by carefully reviewing your feedback. We truly appreciate your continuous support, guys. So listen, um, this 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 is just a list of some of the major changes that are, that are coming to Epic 7. Uh, we're getting a world boss overhaul because I know a lot of people had issues with that. Um, they're completely revamping the pet system. So listen, guys, pets, pets are actually going to be worth a damn. You can now auto your dungeons without having pet snacks right so now you just go 20 times and then after the 20 times is up if you have a tier 4 obviously so get your tier 4 because we literally just put the pet guide out but um after you finish your 20 you just restart you can do another 20 right so now the ease and the accessibility and the quality of life of epic 7 is going up and up and up and up and then with the launch of you know preseason two and then you know regular for real rta that's supposed to be coming around april as they mentioned in the live stream um there's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff coming guys and this is only the beginning because what they're doing now is streamlining content so they can get a constant flow and this is what i feel like because as a business that just makes sense right so once the baseline once the fundamental baseline is set then they can just continue building on top of that foundation right so it's like oh you know then we put all these new heroes new stories new whatever new episode new chapter new whatever um and then everything else that's established is good so um again as these dev notes continue to come out because these are changes that are scheduled for the first half i'm, I'm assuming we'll probably get a dev another dev note soon um but this this is these are already some gigantic changes that i think will appeal to a lot of people specifically uh the pet changes and of course the other quality of life changes now i know the pvp stuff doesn't appeal to everybody but that's all right you know you're entitled to like what you like but anyway guys uh that's all i wanted to cover today let me know which part of these dev notes is your favorite. Um, as soon as the patch notes come out as well for the patch today, I thought that Pavel might have been coming today, but it looks like it's going to be Bologna, and Pavel will probably be next week. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.